So out of curiosity, I went onto Amazon and did a search to see what their top or best selling camping and hiking gear is. And one of the items that came up was an inflatable lounger. It was kind of a surprise to see it show up, but it looks like a lot of fun. So that's what we're reviewing today. This episode is made possible in part by generous supporters on Patreon. The inflatable lounger that made the top 100 list was by Wekapo. Comes with a little About Us card and a user manual. There are lots of different colors that are available from fun patterns to bright colors or more subdued colors like this one that is taupe. It comes in a carrying bag with a drawstring closure and a strap. Oh cool. It includes a carabiner with a bottle opener and also a tent stake. So you can stake it down because it's really light and you don't want it to blow away. There's a large buckle with a push button unlock. It pulls open. And it's long. The inflatable lounger is made of 210T ripstop polyester. And it has a couple of chambers. And in between the two openings, it's sewn together. This is the plastic liner inside the outer shell that holds the air. Because the wind's blowing, that's going to help us fill it up. No, not enough air. There are several different ways to get air into the lounger. First thing to do is to open up each chamber and kind of fluff it up so that it'll allow air to come in the most easily. One way is to open up a side of the chamber, hold the mouth of the chamber down really close to the ground, then lift it up and try to capture air that way. I had minimal success with that. Another is to run to capture air. If there's any breeze, running into that breeze works actually much, much better, uh, even if it's a very slight breeze. So I can recommend that. The wind, by far, is the easiest way to get air into it. Could use some wind. Is the little inflatable lounger for everyone? Probably not. It helps if you could find some type of joy in filling it up with air. Well, that's better. Ah! Much better! Woohoo! This is cool! Awesome! This is nice! Oh, sun right in eyes! Hi, Gooby! I like it! I'm not sure where the loop is. There it is. The tie-down strap is elastic, so it has a good bit of give. The carabiner works just fine. And the tent stake is nice and pointy on the end. And it comes with covers for both the head of the stake and then also there's one for the point of the stake to keep it from puncturing or damaging anything during travel when it's in the bag. On one side there's a large pocket and also a sort of medium sized pocket. On the other side is a strap. Very elasticy wide band strap. The headrest is cool because it kind of sticks up and makes it very comfortable for you to lay your head against. At the foot end of the lounger is where the strap is. 
and it rolls up a lot like a dry bag and then loops around and latches. The instructions say that you'll use up about a foot of the length of the end of the lounger to wind it up before latching it tight. You can adjust the inflation tightness by how much you wind up the strap. So if you like it to be really cushy, you wouldn't have to wind the strap up as tight. And if you want it to be really firm, then you could loop around more on the strap before latching it. While the lounger is great for lounging or maybe looking up at the stars and watching a meteor shower, it isn't going to work really well as a bed because it will only hold its inflation for about five to six hours. For naps, that'll work. Bill pointed out something really important to me when I was catching air in it when the wind was blowing. And he said it's not two different chambers. Yes, there's two different openings on the foot end of the lounger, but it's all one chamber that just loops around. There's no seam dividing the chamber on the pillow end. Inflated like it is here, it's just under six feet long. If you catch more air than I was able to, then your lounger will be longer. We're right at 88 inches, seven foot four. It's quite a ways down before you get to the seam that goes down the center. So it makes it a really nice surround cushion. This is cool. Oh, this works better. I like this better. My shoulders have more room. This could work. And if you got several people, you could sit on it like a couch. Sort of. <laughs> The lounger will support up to 500 pounds. As far as durability, I think it'll last pretty well. It didn't show any negative signs or have any issues after I pounced on it. We do like the inflatable lounger and we'll probably get a second one so that we can best enjoy looking up at the stars on cloudless nights. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever tried out an inflatable lounger and how did it work? How long did it stay inflated for you? Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time. Nice. Now it needs to happen. It needs to get dark so we can look at the stars. But not under the trees. <laughs>